What's up guys, it's Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. I'm about to head on out to Robbinsville, New Jersey. I'm just waiting for Pete, and then we're gonna take the drive over. It's about an hour away. It is the second largest Hindu temple in the world. I'm not sure where the first one is. And it's the largest here in New Jersey, in the US. So, you know, that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, I heard it's beautiful out there. Uh, it just doesn't look like you're in New Jersey anymore because it's amazing to see. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna start driving and uh, we're gonna go ahead and on out. So keep watching. I don't wear this. It was like 50 degrees earlier. Yeah. Here we are at the second largest temple. Parking is crazy right now. It's a Saturday. All right, let's go check out this one of a kind marvel. I know. It, 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 yeah. When you can't wait. here. I don't know about the sky making it look pretty. It's really beautiful here. Imagine all the man hours it took to build this. There it is. You can see it from here. I think you can even see it looks like a rainbow. Huh? It looks like a rainbow but it's just the color of the sky. Look at the design of the columns. It's pretty yeah, the elephants. It's very intricate. Like look at all that skill just to make that. That's crazy, right? It's the entrance I think. Can't tell me that looks pretty. We'll go inside in a bit, but it's an engineering marvel. So pretty. You took pictures, Pete? Yeah. Uh, keep on taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh it's like I'm not in Jersey anymore. <laughs> You're not in New Jersey anymore. Definitely. It's a different feeling. Not a pretty art on the walls. Mm -hmm. 
you can't tell me this place is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Second largest Hindu temple in the world. It's here in New Jersey. Can't believe it. It's so pretty. The clouds really make it pop. I guess they have fountains in the sun. Yeah, it looks like the fountains are off today because it's cold. I'll come back in. I would. Oh, yeah, same here. I mean, this is my first time, so I would come down here if we went down to like Philly, make a stop or something. Yep. <laughs> All right, it's so cold outside. I think we're gonna get some coffee. Hopefully, to have it. That sounds right. Sounds close. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I could do it with an accent and then. <laughs> <laughs> Cafe. Super crowded. I might get some coffee. You gonna get a cupcake? <laughs> I might get a corn fritter. I'm gonna get a corn fritter for about six dollars for that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Samosa is only two ninety nine. Huh? Yeah, let me get one. Can you get a report? I can't get a report. Those are stuck. Let me get a different one. Let me get a different one. <laughs> <laughs> I got some Punjabi samosa and their coffee because it's so cold outside. Pikara cupcake. <laughs> I'm the whitest dude ever in this place. <laughs> no, no, the kids had pizza, so I feel better. Yeah, so because we're gonna go eat after this, so we didn't want to spoil our appetite. Something small. Samosa. So good. Good, right? Mm. There's like peas in here. Chickpeas, I think? Yeah, I think so. Is it spicy or not spicy? Because the ones that his wife makes is spicy. There's no, no, spice no spice there? It's pretty good. Very healthy. It's the vegetarian empanada. <laughs> Indian version. Mm -hmm. Here it is at night. Look at that. <laughs> anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Back in Jersey City, this coffee was pretty good. I forgot what it's called, but didn't need no sugar. Very creamy and uh, sweet. I forgot the name, but it's pretty good for Indian coffee. Uh, 
You'll see it in the video anyway. And uh, Samosa was pretty good. Um, I gave a piece to Pete and he enjoyed it as well. He says his co-worker does better Samosa, so he's going to give it to me next time. <laughs> but uh, as for the temple, that was uh, really cool to see. Like, felt majestic in every way. I know it took like maybe 12,000 volunteers to build and just opened up in October last year. But, uh, you know, but it was in the building process for a long, long time. I know a lot of the pieces were shipped over from Italy or something. A lot of the, you know, the the concrete and whatnot they used for the columns and for the statues. A lot of it was built overseas, I, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but uh, I'll leave several information for you guys here. Um, also, we couldn't really film inside of the temple itself. You know, it's a place of worship. You gotta respect that. And you, you do take off your shoes, just, you know, very custom. Just like in a Filipino household, right? You take off your slippers and your shoes when you enter a house. It's the same thing here. And uh, you, it's even more amazing inside. Like, you guys just got to see it. So if you're ever in the Robbinsville area in here in New Jersey, it's about an hour from New York or Jersey City from where I am. You guys will definitely enjoy the sights. And, uh, you know, it's very peaceful. Very, I feel like, you know very i guess blessed it's just awesome to see like all that hard work and it's just mind-blowing to me to see that this is in new jersey so uh leave the address down below if you want to visit and i think they're the only day they're closed i think they're closed on tuesdays i'm not sure like i said everything is down below for the information so anyway guys if this is your first time here make sure you hit the subscribe button down below ring that bell so you get notified of all our future videos like comment and share because sharing is caring and i'll see you in the next one bye guys